Shipping using inland waterways results in an average savings of more than $14 per ton over alternate overland modes. As a result, companies save more than $9.2 billion in transportation costs each year. With numbers like these, Craig Hess, chief of locks and dams for the Illinois Waterways, sees LaGrange as a necessary investment. The improvements needed at LaGrange Lock and Dam are a major rehab, as we call it. Um, it has been slated for more than 10 years. Uh, currently, the major rehab that we have scheduled here would take about two years to complete, and the estimated cost is about $96 million. While a major investment, according to Michael Tarpey of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, it's a must for the companies that rely on the river to stay competitive here and abroad. The LaGrange Lock and Dam is the southernmost facility on the Illinois Waterway. In the year 2014, approximately 26 million tons of cargo pass through this facility with about a $10 billion value. About 60% of U.S. grain exports are transported via the Mississippi River and its tributaries, including the Illinois River. Any Illinois River disruptions considerably restrict the flow of grain from much of Illinois, the number two corn and soybean producing state to valuable export markets. If the lock was closed for 30 days, the estimated transportation costs, and you know, these are costs that people would have to pay in addition because of the loss of lock is estimated over $30 million.